Samsung introduced the Galaxy Tab S4 back in August 2018 as a premium tablet with a feature called Samsung DeX, allowing you to use this Android tablet with a PC-like experience. Let's find out if you can really replace your laptop with the Tab S4. The Tab S4 has a sleek curved edge black exterior with thin bezel surrounding the screen. It's slim at 7.1mm and fairly lightweight at 482 grams. It's comfortable to hold with one hand while writing with the S Pen. The rear is made of glass so it looks good but boy is it a fingerprint magnet and slippery in the hand. The Tab S4 has a 10.5 inch Super AMOLED display with 287 ppi at a resolution of 2560 by 1600. In other words a gorgeous screen for productivity and after hours usage. It's easy to see where the premium price has gone, up there with the iPad Pro 10.5 inch. The panel is HDR enabled for apps like Netflix or Prime Video. Colours are punchy and bright, viewing angles wide enough for a couple of people to watch Game of Thrones together. Around the metal sides on the right you'll find a power button, volume rocker, microphone and microSD slot. On the bottom you'll find two speakers separated by a USB-C connector and a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the left is a set of Pongo pins for connecting the book keyboard cover which is sold separately. Finally on the top is the remaining twin speakers with a microphone. The Wi-Fi modem has a 2x2 MIMO antenna supporting Wi-Fi 4 and 5 along with Bluetooth 5.0. Connectivity via Wi-Fi was generally very good whether it was held in portrait or landscape mode. The optional Samsung book cover keyboard connects the tablet via the Pongo pins and magnets to the keyboard. It acts as a protective case and also has a slot to hold the S Pen stylus. The tablet angle is fixed to the keyboard and not adjustable like a Surface kickstand, making it awkward to find a comfortable vertical viewing angle. You can also connect a Bluetooth mouse which I found invaluable when using Samsung DeX. The plastic S Pen included with the tablet is nicely rounded and comfortable to hold. A metal protrusion in the middle of the pen stops it rolling away and best of all it doesn't need charging compared to the Apple Pencil. You can draw, jot notes, annotate screenshots, translate text and send live messages with the S Pen. In Autodesk Sketchbook, Adobe Photoshop Sketch and Adobe Illustrator Draw, the S Pen performed well. The pressure sensitivity levels at 4096 were accurately read and good enough to comfortably sketch. The only minor annoyance was that the S Pen's quick menu can easily be launched accidentally using the side shortcut button. For a thin tablet, the Tab S4 sound from the four speakers tuned by AKG with Adobe Atmos support is excellent. A marriage made in heaven with the equally excellent display for content consumption and productivity with the added bonus of a rare headphone jack if required. There's a 13 megapixel Samsung camera on the back and an 8 megapixel Sony on the front. The rear camera records video in 4K in the front is at 1080p, usable for video conferencing. For a premium laptop, the cameras are disappointing, similar to a low to mid-end smartphone. Surely you're not one of those who takes photographs on a tablet. There's also an iris scanner for face unlock which generally works well under most conditions apart from when it's docked with the book cover keyboard. Due to the angle of the dock, you'll find oneself crouching down to make your eyes level with the iris scanner. The Tab S4 has a 2017 Snapdragon 835 chipset with 4GB of memory and 64GB storage on this review model. There is a micro SD slot for up to 400GB of additional storage. One could argue for more memory especially when multitasking DeX and a faster Snapdragon CPU in 2019. But compared to the majority of tablets the Tab S4 is more powerful. Only the iPad Pro 10.5 beats it. In real world usage system performance is good and DeX multitasking worked without issue throughout testing. Gaming on the Tab S4 is surprisingly good despite using the older 540 GPU. Combined with a beautiful high res display, quad speakers, gamers won't have much to complain about, rendering even complex games at playable frame rates. Unfortunately, games are only playable in tablet mode, which rules out using DeX to play games like PUBG Mobile on an external monitor with a mouse and keyboard. What we all want to know is can the Tab S4 with Samsung DeX replace your laptop? Previously with the Galaxy phone, you needed a Samsung DeX docking station. Now there's a DeX icon to enable it. Once activated, you get a Windows style environment with a mouse cursor and open apps in different windows. Being able to open your apps like Word, Excel along with Spotify and YouTube is great for productivity. To make the most of DeX, ideally connect a keyboard and Bluetooth mouse. You can also use the tablet as a second screen or input device if you connect it to a larger screen via optional USB-C to HDMI or DisplayPort adapter. This opens up full virtual OS environments like Linux on DeX and Windows Virtual Desktop. The Tab S4 supports fast charging and our tests show that you can go from 0% to 100 
100% in a couple of hours. There's a much bigger battery at 7,300 milliamp hour compared to the S3. Battery life is good at 8 to 9 hours general surfing and up to 12 hours watching video clips. Expect around 4 hours while under load using DeX or heavy gaming. Pros and cons of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. Delicious display. When you first switch on the Tab S4, the impressive OLED display hits you with gorgeous colors, great viewing angles and decent brightness. Super duper pen. For starters, the S Pen is included with the tablet. It's really easy to use with some usable drawing apps available. Screen off memo is convenient, that allows you to take a quick note or two without turning on the tablet. The pen is pressure sensitive, comfortable and doesn't require charging. Quad speakers. The stereo sound from the four speakers makes a big difference when watching. It's plenty loud, although not the loudest you ever heard from a tablet. Dynamic range is good and treble is excellent, meaning voice sounds exceptionally crisp. Bass response could be a bit better though. Cramped keyboard. The Samsung book cover keyboard layout is cramped. It isn't backlit and it contains unnecessary keys. Flanking the spacebar is a dedicated key for changing the keyboard language and a lover for triggering the on-screen keyboard. Not a keyboard to use for serious productivity. To DeX or not to DeX. As much as we like resizable app windows, mouse support and the positive direction DeX is going, the software including Google Apps isn't optimised for this tablet. You also can't use screen off memo and DeX or any of the handy S Pen tools that are normally available. Expensive. If you add up the tablet, book cover keyboard, USB-C to HDMI adapter and a Bluetooth mouse, you're looking close to £700. That's a lot of money when you weigh up the alternatives at that price point. A Microsoft Surface Go or a X360 Chromebook, you could argue, would be getting better value. There's no denying if you want the very best Android tablet currently on the market, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4 is king. Visuals and audio from the Tab S4 is first class. DeX is a useful feature, but the 835 CPU is two years old, plus more RAM and storage would be handy. Whether the Tab S4 can really replace your laptop comes down to what tasks you need to do. If it's basic things like using Office Suite apps, email, writing notes and drawings with S Pen, web browsing, watching a video, then it certainly can. If you add a keyboard, mouse, an external monitor, Linux on DeX and a Windows Virtual Desktop open up full productivity platforms. However, the big question to think about is, is it worth all this additional expense and premium pricing to use the Tab S4 and its main competition, the iPad Pro, as a premium laptop? What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4 tablet. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.